Hello, hello, I'm Dakota May, and welcome back to the Minecraft world. It is another beautiful day in the world today, and I'm standing out here outside the abandoned house because I'm going to work on something that I've been putting off for a really long time. So, like, when we first did this build, I kind of mentioned, you know, I have these ideas for like, it's gonna have a lovely little yard and stuff. Yeah, I, I've been having trouble visualizing that and figuring out exactly how that's going to look and, but I, I, I mean, we, we can't just procrastinate forever. So I laid out some wool here to mark, there should be a path connecting to the rest of our area, like in front of the clock tower. And then I also outlined out around the property, kind of marking the boundaries of, you know, where the, where the property lines are and what portions of this property are like actually belonging to the abandoned house versus what is the surrounding area. So yeah, <laughs> like I, I think this is going to be a very challenging thing because one of the things I've I've struggled with really wrapping my head around how to do this because I need it to look fancy but also dilapidated and so just trying to figure out like what does that even look like and how do I accomplish that with Minecraft blocks you know so yeah, and, and figuring out what to do with little spaces like this right back in here where this, like, it it almost touches the, oops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. It almost touches the cemetery, but I think, you know, there's enough space there. We can fit a little road in there. And yeah, so I, I don't know. I've, I've just, I've been, basically, I've just been running around trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> and while I was running around, I came across this. Guys, Endermen have been all over the inside of this house. <laughs> they even went up to the non-existent second floor and littered up there. Like, uh, that, it's going to have to be cleaned up. <laughs> but I'm not that worried about the interior of the house today. I'm mostly just really worried about how do I get this yard looking right? How do I get it to look fancy like this used to be a really nice place to live but also abandoned you know like nobody's cleaned it in you know five years or however long it's been so that's going to be the challenge for today i'm quite nervous about this but fingers crossed hopefully we'll come up with something amazing
can I just say I love this derpy little arch? <laughs> I don't know why. There's just something about it. Like the dimensions are all wrong, but I love it. I love the fact that it's wrong. I don't know. I I just I like it. What what <laughs> I don't know why I like it. I just do. Anyway, that was a very productive time lapse and I'm feeling so much better about this. Like, yes, I know this tree looks terrible. It's supposed to. I want the trees specifically to look like they haven't been cared for like maybe a long time ago they were really nice trees and they were well cared for you know they were fertilized they were watered they were uh pruned but now they're you know not now they're barely surviving and so that was kind of the goal so i went really sparse with the leaves um really high contrast between the leaves and the branches as well so that the the branches kind of stand out is kind of what i was thinking i i hope that works i hope it makes it look you know run down is is basically the goal and so obviously this is all just basically to create a starting place you know so we've I did do a tiny little bit of detailing with this dock here with the little it's missing bits of the railing and bits are falling off and there's this old um, little area where uh, they used to sit around the campfire here and maybe roast marshmallows have some s'mores and it's all very run down and dirty as well um, but we need to put a lot more into like what what this is right now is this is all basically just setting the stage you know what we we need a lot of detail in here like i think as i've been working on this and thinking about how to do it i think detail is going to be the key to pulling this build off if we don't have a lot of detail i don't think this is going to work like if all i did was take what i have right now and then just like run around and spam a whole bunch of bone meal i think this build would end up being really really boring but if we focus on the details Hopefully we'll be able to create something that is interesting and engaging, like stuff like this, you know, where it's like, oh, this little flower bed, maybe we can pop a dead bush in there, um, maybe a spruce leaf, you know, so like a dead bush and a spruce leaf and, and that's what's growing in the planter instead of what presumably used to be beautiful flowers. So I think those kind of details is what we need to focus on to make this happen. One detail that I think think will work rather nicely is this little hot tub that I made back here. I just put this together and I mean, I think, you know, in its pristine condition, it would have prismarine all over the bottom and it would all be quartz, but instead I roughed it up and uh, I also put it in this patio and I want to make just real quick this little barbecue grill and I'm going to intentionally make it asymmetrical and the goal of that is to kind of um, make it look like maybe a piece of it broke essentially I'm I don't know hopefully this will look decent um yeah I mean I think that conveys the point you know of like maybe a barbecue grill that used to have like little uh, wings on each side but one side broke but anyway yes I think between the hot tub and the barbecue grill I think this little area here that's about all the detailing we need in this you know fairly small area so the last thing I want to do here is bone meal and get the grass looking like it <laughs> Like it hasn't been mowed in like five years, you know? I mean, no one's been living here. Nobody's been paying the the person that mows the grass. So yeah, um, obviously they're not gonna come by and just mow the mow the yard for free. So yeah. Okay, I I think this is starting to come together. Okay, yes, I wanted to get like one little section of this yard done or you know, done adjacent. <laughs> So that I could get a sense of, you know, is this even going to work? And I, I think it is. I think it's going to come together. Um, and I th I think, you know, 
yeah, I think I just need to focus on having things be almost right. Rather than having things be right, they need to be almost right, is I think... Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And here along the side of the house, I just need to finish the outline of this but this little area here I was basically thinking hey don't a lot of like you know fancy houses that are like you know super upscale like they'll have like a tennis court or like badminton or you know just like some little area where they can go and you know get get a little bit of exercise out in the sunshine and so i'm like hey let's do that here so i'm just putting this together and this is obviously not to scale because <laughs> i didn't have a lot of space to work with but i think that conveys the basic idea yeah you can see like a broken net and there's um some some gross stuff growing on the what would be the court and then, you know, you can still see, like, the remains of the outlines, but it's all kind of dirty and not, not well cared for. So, I think that's going to finish it up for that particular side, but I do have to come back and get more bones. So, let's just hop into the storage factory here real quick and grab some bones so that we can start bone mealing the rest of it. And I just, I don't know, there's just, I'm... As I'm working on this build, I'm starting to feel a lot more confident about it. And it's like my my misgivings here are going away. Because like basically, it's not taking as much to distress things as I thought. Like, and it's not, it's also not looking bad. Like when I put a dirt block right next to quartz, in this context, I don't think that's actually looking bad. And that's obviously, that's that's a kind of block transition that normally I would stay away from because it's like, oh, that's too much. But I think this, in this particular context, I think it's kind of working. And so I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm discovering, I think, that I just need to like go for it. Um, you know, just, just be confident, just go for it. Put those, Put those block textures that normally don't go well together just go for it and it will look dirty and it will look distressed and it will look you know like nobody's been here and cleaned this in five years <laughs> anyway sorry um yes the the bone mealing must happen <laughs> you guys have seen a lot of bone mealing and there will probably be more bone mealing so um yeah anyway yes tennis court yeah, I, I think that looks pretty decent. And then we just, you know, take care of the rest of the yard over here. And I mean, what more is there really to do? I don't, I don't have any good ideas for what else to put along this particular side. So, um, yeah, I, I think I'm just going to bone meal the rest of the ground and maybe be like, hey, you know, this was the area where the kids, you know, ran around with the dog or something. I, I don't know. And on this last side of the house, I thought, you know, just this like terrace little garden area would be super cute. So I went and put one together real quickly. And now we just need to kind of texture up this wall a little bit. So I'm just mixing in some mossy cobble just to spice things up a little bit and also help them look more distressed. I mean, cobble looks distressed as it is. It's definitely a good aging block. Um, but I think the mossy cobble just adds a little bit of variation to it. And I also went ahead and I planted some, uh, some crops in there. Like, not a ton, just like one here, one there, you know, just, just a little bit. And a couple of berry bushes. And then for the rest of the plant life, I was thinking just, you know, a good old-fashioned bone meal. <laughs> So yeah, let's let's get some weeds in here. Oop, no flowers, just weeds. And let's get this. There we go. Get this looking a bit overgrown and like, you know, maybe it used to be a nice little garden where they would grow some vegetables, but now it's pretty useless to be entirely honest. <laughs> it's just pretty useless. <laughs> There we go. I think that looks pretty nice. Ah, oh, just in time too. The sun's going down, so I've got to head to sleep. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I think I'm happy with that. I think the yard looks terrible, which is fantastic. <laughs> you know what I mean. I I think this really accomplishes what I set out for. I didn't have a super clear vision in my head, and that's why I was so nervous about this build, but I think yeah, like it it looks it looks suitably abandoned, and it I think it also looks suitably like this used to be a really nice house, and like this used to have some really nice amenities that gave it, you know, a, a lovely high property value. But now, after, you know, after getting into a feud with the Witch Coven, yeah, it's, you know, they <laughs> maybe knocked out a few windows. <laughs> Don't argue with the Witch Coven. But yes, I just, I don't know, there's, I feel like this definitely came together. But there is, other than, you know, dealing with this yard here, there is something else that I feel like I need to tackle as well. And that is more paths, essentially. Because, like, oh, we got a couple of challengers approaching over here. Okay, <laughs> we gotta take care of this real fast. Oh, gosh. Okay, whew. Ah. For a second there, I was starting to wonder if I was just going to miss constantly when they were in point-blank range the whole time. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, so paths. Um, so, I put together this path out in uh, the front of the abandoned house, like basically connecting it up to pretty much directly in front of the clock tower. Um, and obviously I haven't like added in, you know, the fences and the leaves that line the path, but... I would like to figure out where the Witch Coven path is going to go before I do all of those like finishing touches sort of things, if that makes any sense. So basically, I'm, oh my gosh, how have I not noticed? I've, I've been living like, did an Enderman steal the dirt out from under this tree? I don't know, but okay, flying trees are not allowed, okay? So bear with me for a second while I deal with this flying tree. <laughs> I don't know if an Enderman like stole the dirt out from under this tree or what. I've had that happen to a couple of trees, like as I've been clearing out the forest and stuff, I've come across trees that like, used obviously used to have dirt under them but no longer do so but the, i think there was also some generation issues here because like it was on top of this other tree <laughs> that was kind of weird anyway um yes okay all better <laughs> but what i was saying is um yes this path here that goes up into the witch coven this needs to be extended out and hook up with the other paths so i could bring it this way like over through um this area here and connect up there-ish which would be a bit um marshy which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world um might involve the creation of like a footbridge but i do want to check the block palette here and we've got mossy cobble or i mean mossy stone brick cracked stone brick regular brick regular stone and a little bit of andesite Okay, that's, if I remember right, I basically just made that path with what I had on hand at the moment. <laughs> but it's a nice looking path, like I can continue that, that's, that's fine. So I could pull it down this way and hook up, uh, yeah, um, I don't know, the big problem with that is that I've always envisioned there being a road in front of the abandoned house. And so if I bring it down through the marshy area, then that means there's going to be like a lot of roads in a relatively small area. And I'm not sure that that's ultimately a good thing. Additionally, there's this section over here, which this needs to be turned into a road and then have that turn off and go behind the cemetery. So what if we had a road come behind the cemetery down this way and then turn over in front of the abandoned house, cross over this way, and then just like come up onto this little section here and then kind of go around the hill a little bit in order to hook up with 
the witch coven. I I think I like this idea. Okay, yes, I think I think that's a plan. So yes, <laughs> let's build a road. Ah, oh, I just I I don't know why, but I really like making paths like this. It's just relaxing. I don't know. You just you plow out a trough and then you just put blocks down a bit randomly. You just, you know, throw them all hodgepodge all over the place and <laughs> I don't know why it this this method really doesn't deserve to look good. But I think it does. I think it looks quite nice. So, yeah, let's just throw a few blocks down here and there and call it a path. <laughs> I don't know. This this is ridiculous. I know. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Eh. Well, yeah. We just need a little bit of andesite, and then we're all good to go. And, oh, maybe smooth this out a tiny bit. Um, yeah, and maybe, maybe a little grass here. There. Perfect. Nice. And, yes, I'm well aware that that tree is, like, <laughs> right in the way, but I kind of like it. You know, I, I don't know. There's just... I'll probably have to remove that tree eventually, but today is not that day. Today... <laughs> today that tree will remain. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to extend the rest of this path a little bit more to wrap around the rest of the house, and I'll be back with you guys in just a bit. And just like that, we've not only accomplished the build for today, but we've also laid some groundwork for the future by getting these paths into place, or at the very least, the outlining for them done. Like, I, I, ow. <laughs> I wouldn't really call the paths, like, you know, done, done, but yeah, well, like, you know, we've, we've got this definitely nicely all mapped out and connected up to the witch coven, and it, uh, goes down all the other way, um, all the way past the abandoned house, um, around the little corner behind the cemetery. So yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy because I feel like this is going to help pull this world together. Like I know last episode I said, I think we're going to kind of, you know, start a new, a new era kind of, of the world where instead of focusing on getting builds above ground, I wanted to focus on tying what we all had together. And we're only two episodes into that goal. And I feel like we've already accomplished so much of it. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just uh, doing a little cleaning up. <laughs> anyway, yes, so we've got this all the way hooked up to the back entrance of the cemetery, and I just, I don't know, I, I kind of feel like this path back here is going to be small, not very well used, maybe not as nice as the other paths, and I don't really know what I'm going to build back here, if anything. I, honestly, there might be nothing built back here because to be entirely honest, between the cemetery and the abandoned house, like, uh, who wants to live right there, you know, or uh, build a business or what have you, so, yeah, anyway, I just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> once again, I'm happy at how things came together. We built an absolutely awful looking yard, which was the point, and we got some nice paths in. So yay, mission accomplished. But that is going to have to be it for me today, you guys. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys watch my videos. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing, all that fun YouTube-y stuff. Thanks again for watching, guys, and ta-ta for now!